What's up, gamers? GamerDad here. This is the guy double complete the week seven weekly quest, stage two of two, land at Breakwater Bay or Steamy Springs, and finish top 20 players. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that button. Show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all capital letters. Thank you so much for your support. So, this challenge is relatively straightforward. You need to land at either of these two um, named locations here Breakwater Bay or Steamy Springs, and then you simply need to last. To the top 20 and beyond if you get a uh, victory royale even better now to decide where to land you can either take the easy way and stay far away from this blue line which is the battle bus line so for example breakwater bay there's going to be way less players way the heck up here and by the time you make your way downwards you should have very little problems making the top 20 here if you want to have more action and more fighting you're going to stick stick to the location that's closer to the battle bus line so at Breakwater Bay, I used to land here quite a lot. Not not so much in this season, um, but I'm really familiar with it, and I really like to land on this dock, and that's because there's usually a chest here, and if there's not, there's going to be ground loot, and then there's a couple slurp barrels. So it, it makes her a little good start. Now, I could hear somebody gliding near me at this point, and one key thing about Fortnite and lasting to the end, and you know, or at least lasting a long time or getting those victories, is being aware. You can't just go out there and be completely oblivious to your surroundings. So anytime you hear someone gliding near you, it's worth listening and trying to discern where they ended up going, because the last thing you want to do is you know have them catch you by surprise and eliminate you. So very quickly, I'm picking up that ground loot, that SMG. There's a second SMG. I'm gonna open up this ammo crate. I've got. A little bit of shields there from the slurp barrels. And at this point, I'm really just waiting for someone to shoot at me, just in case that person did land around here. I'm going to grab this extra weapon and some ammo here. And now at this point, I honestly thought that somebody was over here. Uh, it turns out there was nobody there. Another good strategy for lasting or getting yourself hooked up with some good loot is to capture a POI. And that means to get inside this circle, wait till that flag gets to the top, and when it does, it's going to rain down some pretty sweet loot on top of you. So here we go. As long as nobody else enters the circle, that is, it'll keep continuing. If someone comes in the circle, you need to eliminate them, and then it will continue to go up, and then you can get your loot. Once you get this loot, then it's time to head out. Another way that you can help, uh, you know, potentially just be aware of others or get eliminations is encounter this job board, and you can do the eliminate enemy player and get a bounty. Another bonus to the claiming the POI is that it will actually highlight all the chests. So you see all those yellow chests everywhere? That's pretty much just telling you there's a chest here, there's a chest here. So I basically chilled at Breakwater Bay for a little bit. There's 50 people left. I'm already, you know, more than halfway to the top number one spot here. And I'm coming out. This person just eliminated my bounty. I stayed in the storm intentionally so that they would have more trouble seeing me and shooting at me. So sometimes you can use the storm to your advantage. It, you shouldn't always run out of the storm just because it's taking damage. A one tick or a storm that does one bit of damage to you is honestly nothing at all. And so at this point, there's 42 people left. And the storm is approaching. I've got quite a while to the next storm circle. And I, d I was going to go around. I honestly do not like going through the jungle biome unless I'm on a specific challenge in here. I was going to take the animal... Um, that wild boar. Then I tried the dirt bike and I totally backfired on me. The dirt bike got lost in like a really deep uh, pool of water. And so that I ran out the rest of the way. I'm now approaching here. There's 28 people left. I can see that the bosses have spawned here. I'm actually working on my deal damage to opponents challenge, which I know for a fact I'm about to nail down now. These bosses are honestly like, you know, lame ducks at this point. Super easy to take them out. Super easy to get that vault key card. So that's the key here. I'm going to regroup here. I'm going to go inside now that my damage quest is done. And then I know that the boss and his two suits there are basically going to try to come in here. And they're going to pretty much be useless. They're just not going to know what to do. So there's two of them down. Two of them are eliminated just down to the boss now. He's hacking away at the wall like a complete fool. I'm going to take that key card. Go downstairs. Open up the vault. And then I'm going to get some sweet loot. So now that I've got that, I'm actually going to go down now, open it up, go inside, complete loot, loot it, get all the XP I can, and then boom, I'm going to come out here. Now I'm down to the top four at this point. I omitted the content in between, and 
At this point, I thought I was going to creep up on this person when they least expected it. And I make a grave error. I get myself into a place, and then I get stuck on a stupid dirt bike. And once, by the time I turn around, the, the other player is right on me and just eliminates me. It was a really poor finish, but either way, my challenge is complete. So I do hope that the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that button and show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad. All one word, all caps. Good luck with your challenge. And until the next video, this is GamerDad.